Hey, what's going on? I'm Tom Kelly. I play guitar in the Polymer Motive. I play guitar in Gloomchild. And I am here to show you some super sick guitar picks that I've been playing for about a week now. Actually, a lot longer than that, but I got some new ones that I want to show you. These picks are from a company called Honey Picks, and they're run from a couple of really cool guys named Rick and Andrew Calhoun, based out of North Carolina. These are some of the coolest picks that I've ever played. I've never been a guy who actually thought that picks made a difference in your tone. Don't get me wrong, there's an undeniable difference in how picks make you play, how they feel, all that stuff, but I never thought they sounded very different unless they were just like super ridiculous picks. Until I tried these guys. The first pick that I ever bought was this one. It's called the Honey Jar. The coolest thing about this pick is that it has two different playing surfaces. You have this slightly sharper playing surface that loosely resembles a Dunlop flow, kind of mixed with a Dunlop sharp, but it's it's a unique shape. It's, it's really nice for digging in, getting a little bit more grit when you need to. And then, just with a little sleight of hand, you now have this really super slick jazz surface that kinda, again, resembles a Jazz 3 loosely, but not quite. It's its own unique feeling, and it's like butter across the strings. Super nice. Now, this is a problem that I have with pretty much every pick that's not made out of a particular type of material. My hands get very slippery, and when my hands get slippery, the pick starts to get very slick and it kind of develops a mind of its own. And that is something I do kind of experience with this pick. However, that is not a fault of the pick. That is really just kind of my body chemistry. However, Honey Picks just so happens to have a material that makes all of my dreams in that department come true. Ultum. This material is nuts. It kind of resembles the Ultex from Dunlop. However, this stuff feels a little bit tackier, which I really like. It really stays in my hands, even when I'm getting sweaty. In addition to this multi-hole grip, I think this really adds a whole level of grip that's just perfect. This particular one is the Hornet shape. This very closely resembles a Dunlop flow, which is beautiful because those are the picks that I played before I was getting my hands on these honey guys. They feel incredible. The one edge that I think the honey has over the flow is the bevel around the edge. Now before I go any further, I'm not sponsored, we don't have any sort of deal. Rick and Andrew were super cool and they did give me the next two picks that I'm about to show you. However, I'm not endorsed, I'm not being paid or influenced to say any of this. These are my fully honest thoughts. Uh, Dunlop, you're great, I love you. but. Gnarly! And with this multi-hole grip and the Ulta material, this pick is probably my favorite of the bunch. I think if I were to get another one, I would get a slightly thicker one just because I want to try them at different thicknesses, but man, this material has some nice pop to it. <laughs> So now we're getting into the samples that Rick and Andrew sent me. These guys are so pretty. I'm gonna start with this one right here. This is the honeybee shape made out of a material called Kiranite. This is starting to get into their Royal Jelly collection. This is so cool to look at. I don't know if they just read my mind or if they just kind of felt me out for what my favorite color might be, but I absolutely love this green color and this little black pearl stripe. I don't know if this was just luck of the draw or if this was intentionally picked out but man that's such a nice little accent it has a super beautiful bevel on it now this bevel is a little different than the other ones that I've shown you this one is actually specific to the direction that you're picking this has a really interesting kind of diagonal bevel so that way your down picks are perfectly angled and your up picks are perfectly angled. I didn't actually realize this until I had the pick flipped the other way and I was kind of like, huh, this doesn't necessarily feel right. It feels like it's catching a lot and then I flipped it over 
and the whole thing changed. And that's when I looked down and noticed that it had a super unique bevel on it. Um, I believe it's either the left-handed or the right-handed bevel, respectively, for whichever grip you use, but it's awesome. The multi-hole grip really solves a good chunk of the issues when it comes to the slippage with this material because this does have a very similar kind of smoothness to the acrylic honey jar that I showed you earlier. Um, however, this multi-hole grip adds enough traction to where it kind of keeps it in position. I think that in addition to this shape, it just really kind of complements nicely. I really like this Kira Knight and man, it is gorgeous. All right, now here is the big kahuna. This pick is another one from their Royal Jelly collection. This is made out of a material called Galolith and I believe this is designed to model its tone after tortoise shell. Props to Honey Picks for not using real tortoise shell. We love our tortoises. Shout out, Titan. Okay, so in all seriousness, this pick is absolutely awesome. It feels really beautiful. It's a two millimeter pick, but it has such a nice smooth bevel on it that it feels really precise when you're playing. I really like this thicker pick because you have that substance in your hand that really makes you feel like you're holding on to something, but because the bevel is so smooth, it kind of mimics that snap and precision of the uh, thinner picks. Another thing I really enjoy about this pick is the royal grip. Again, kind of solving the issue of the slippage with the acrylic. It's a little different than the multi-hole. I think I prefer the multi-hole. However, this does add a really nice bit of traction, especially when you put your thumb on it. It doesn't really allow for your hand to slip out too much. And because this honeybee shape fits so nicely in the crux of my finger, again, it really locks in beautifully. So there you have it. These are a collection of picks from my homies Rick and Andrew Calhoun over at Honey Picks. You can check them out and order some of these yourself at honey-picks.com. Again, unsponsored. This is all straight from the heart. These picks are super gnarly. They're definitely a bit pricey. Don't expect to be buying like 10 or 15 of these at a time. However, they are such an experience. I never would have thought that a pick could really have a significant influence on your tone. Man, was I wrong. Definitely check out some of these picks. I would say of the bunch, God, I don't think I can even pick a shape that I like the best because they all feel super good, at least from the ones that I tried, the Honey Jar, the Honey Bee, and the Hornet. Those picks feel awesome. Those, that's like everything that I could need in a pick. Thank you so much for checking out this pick review. I hope you found it entertaining. If you did find it entertaining, feel free to hit that like button, that subscribe button, all the beautiful things, social currency matters in these days. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one.